Have you ever wondered how to completely change Spotify look on your Windows PC? In this video I will show you exactly that. We will be changing Spotify skin to something completely different using Spicety5 version 2.6.1. So first of all I would just like to mention if I go right here to the download on the Spotify official website that for these skins to work you will actually need to have standalone uh, install of the Spotify client. What I mean by that is to download Spotify from their official website using the .exe file and not from the Microsoft Store because not all skins are actually compatible with the Microsoft Store version of Spotify. In this video we will go through installation of the Spicetify, we will go through basic usage and also we will be installing some custom skins. And by the end of this video I will also show how to completely uninstall Spicetify in case something goes wrong with your Spotify client. So let's continue with the installation. Right now we have Windows. We are on the Windows and Linux and Mac OS are also compatible just with different commands. So right now if I copy the first command right here and you will need also to open the terminal right here, Windows PowerShell terminal. So right now I will put the first command right in uh, and I will paste it anyway and this should uh, install the Spicetify on our system. So as you can see we have the downloading making also the folder in my C directory and all these files are being downloaded right now. So when the Spicetify is completely installed on our system we will just need to run it on our system by using some commands. So right now if I go to the basic usage tab we will run the Spicetify command right here if I put it to the, our Windows PowerShell and I will paste it anyway and you will need to have the success rate always. So I will also copy this command right here and apply it right here to the Windows PowerShell and right now this command will actually turn on the Spicetify in the background. So when you have all these green typos right here that means that Spicetify is already running. So if you want to you can actually also put a Spicetify and help right here so you have even more commands right here and you can try it by yourself. We will not go through that commands right now in this video. So when the Spicetify is completely running we can close the, our terminal right here and if I open up right here the Spotify nothing really changed. So what you need to actually do is to log into your account. So right now when I added my Spotify account you will see that Spicetify changed the default theme of our Spotify to Spicetify default one. So we have ugly white theme and with orange accents right here. So right now we already went through installation process of the Spicetify, basic usage and right now we will install some Spicetify themes on our system. But before that make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So right now to install Spicetify themes we will need to again open up our terminal terminal or PowerShell or even CMD. It should work with all of them, all of these programs. So we will also clone this repository on our GitHub and make sure to have also Git installed and run on uh, your system to work. So Git clone right now, I will copy this uh, code right here and paste it to our terminal. What this should do is actually copy all these files or the themes to the, our themes folder on our C drive or wherever Spicetify version 2 is installed on our system. So we have done this and we also need to copy the files right now to the Spicetify themes. So right now I'll copy this code right here and you can also use this for the Linux or the Mac OS as I said before. Right now I'll paste it here to the terminal and paste it anyway and this code should copy the themes that we downloaded with a previous code to our themes directory of the Spicetify. So with that being done you will see that if I go to our C directory where the Spicetify is actually installed right now we go to the local disk C, we go to the users and right now you will choose your user account in my case here Tech Enthusiast and if we go to the Spicetify.Spicetify folder and you will have the themes right here. So we have all these themes that are just installed right here on our systems. Right now if we go to this web page right here you will see the all these themes preview on the GitHub page. I will also put all these links in the video description down below so you can try this by yourself. For example which I like the most is I think is this one Driblish which also has some accents for example the base one, the white one, 
the dark one, nor the light one, nor the dark one, beach sunset, purple one and samurai one. So this is the theme that we are going to apply and right now I will show you how to do that. So here we have which theme to apply, we have this script right here. So if I copy the script, I will just put it to notepad for now and then we will copy it from the notepad to our terminal. So right now if I copy the theme right, we have the theme name. We will replace the theme name by our theme that we just installed. In this case is the driblish one, so I will just copy the driblish, I will put it right here. And I will copy this code right here that we just composed in our uh, notepad into our terminal. So I will just paste it right here and press enter. Right now for this to work you will need to run spicetify apply. So if I uh, type in spicetify apply the theme should be applied. So right now the Spotify should start up right now. And as you can see we have some error right here. If I open it once more again it should be working like a boss. So. Right now, as you can see, we have Driblish theme applied on our Spotify client. And I think it looks sick. If you want to example, as I said before, we have some accents right here. So for example, I like uh, the Nordlight one. So to apply this accent right here, you will need to copy this one. I will just add this one into the notepad again. Right here we have the Spicetify config color scheme. So I will just uh, type right here the color scheme right here, which is the Nord Light, for example, but you can choose whatever you like. So right here I will put Nord Light and I will just copy this code and I will paste it in the terminal. I will press enter and we also need to again type in Spicetify apply and make sure that Spotify is actually closed before modifying these themes. So this theme looks very very nice. You can also resize right here on the left this bar right here. And if you want to, I don't think that friend activity looks very very nice. So with that go to the settings to remove it and I will just scroll down a bit, see what your friends are playing, I will turn it to off. So right now the Spotify looks very very nice in my opinion. If you haven't already supported the channel with clicking that subscribe button, make sure it turns gray, like this video, and to support the channel even more, make sure that you have ad blocker turned off to watch my videos with ads on. So with that being said, let's continue with uninstalling our Spicetify theme completely from our system. So to do that, you will need to close Spotify completely, even from here, right here, you won't need running it in the background anymore. So if I close up my uh, web browser right here, uh, for that to work, you will need to open up terminal again, terminal again, and you will type in Spotify restore. So this should restore the, your default Spotify theme on your system. And it should look like default Spotify when you first install it on your computer, right? It looks like normal right now. So if I close up the Spotify right here, go to your C directory where the Spotify is installed. So the Windows uh, disk C users and here pick your name right here. In this case, take enthusiast and you will need to delete Spicetify, that Spicetify folder as well as Spicetify CLI and Spicetify teams. So with doing that, you will need to completely delete the Spicetify from your system. And you can also restart your system to completely freshen your system up and you will have also your Spotify with default skin turned on. So with that being said, thank you again sticking with me till the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Also make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure that subscribe button turns gray and also like this video for the YouTube algorithm. And with that being said, thank you again for watching till the end. I see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.